Okay, so once you've installed and activated your theme, it should look something like this. You should have a screen here, like this. So now you need to click on theme options. Oh, actually, first, before you do that, click on this customize link, and you can give your site a title and a tagline that will appear just here. So, I don't know, I'm just going to call this theme site. And then I'll save this. Um, okay, so I've closed. All right, now you can click on theme options. And I'll just go through these settings here. So I'll ignore banner codes for now. I'll ignore pop under URLs. And I'll address these in the video on the advertising. Um, so I'll make a ded dedicated video for the advertising parts. So just ignore those for now and just concentrate on filling out these settings here. So pop under frequency in hours, that's how often you want pop unders to occur when users click on your site. So I've just set this to one here, so that means that once per hour when a user clicks on the site, a pop under will happen. Um, if I was to set this to zero, it would mean that every time they load a pa new page and they click on it, they'll get a pop under happen. So you probably don't want that to be zero because you don't want you know pop unders to be constantly happening and annoying your visitors. So just put that in one or anything higher than one is what I'd recommend. Um, the colors, this is just so you can customize your theme a bit. So by default, it's black and white. So the background color is black by default. This is white by default. This is white by default. And this is black by default. But you can change any of these to any color you want by just typing in the color name. So for example, I might want to change the menu color from white to, I don't know, dark green. So I just type dark green there, save options, and we'll have a look at the site. Uh, so there you can see dark green. Um, if I was just to put this back to the default settings, that should be white. There we go. Uh, you can actually find a complete list of all the color names you can use if you consult the manual. Um, you can just follow this link here, so that's under section 2.3. Uh, so just click that link, and then there's a whole load of information there on HTML color names. You can also use hex codes in here as well if you want. Uh, finally, this setting here, so en enable public meme generation. This basically enables these buttons here and allows your visitors to create their own memes. So if I was to put that to no and refresh, you see these buttons disappear and your visitors won't be able to generate their own memes. Put this to yes and those buttons reappear. Obviously if you haven't purchased the OTO you won't have the generate a poster functionality, you'll just have the generate an image. Uh, Okay, so that's all the settings done in the theme options. Uh, the next thing we need to do is create some categories. So we'll go to posts, categories, and now you can add some new categories. So in this example, I'm gonna create a new one called animals. Um, you can create as many or as few categories as you want. It's a good idea to create a few, though it just helps organize your site. And it means basically that you can target your advertising that much better, which we'll come to. So all you need to do is type slug name, so URL friendly version, uh, title for your category, and that's it. Uh, I'll, I'll return to the banner codes and pop under URLs, as I said before, in the video on advertising. So I'll just add that category there. Hang on, doesn't want to add. Oops. <laughs> Somehow it's disappeared. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's added, I didn't notice. 
Right, okay, so that's added. Now the next thing to do is to add your newly created categories into the menu. So we go to, uh, where do we go? We go to appearance, then menus. And now you just need to add it to your menu. So to do this, you view all your categories down here, click animals, add to menu and then save the menu, you should now see that your animals category has appeared here. You can rearrange the menu however you want by just moving these up and down. Okay, so that's everything done now pretty much and your site ready to go. So I'll move on to the next video now, which is generating some memes.